Hey guys, Brad here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Camtasia uh, to edit the Instahook Virtual Studios along with your green screen video. Um, I know this is a program that a lot of uh, you guys are using, so I wanted to make sure I included a tutorial for this as well. Um, I haven't really used it too much before, but uh, I actually really like it. It's pretty cool little software. Um, but I'm going to try and do one for Video Motion Pro as well. And I always use Adobe Premiere, that's my absolute favorite program. It has the most amount of features, so um, yeah, pretty much any software that you're going to be using, it's going to have some different features, but uh, just make sure if you do have uh, a software that's not listed, just look up tutorials on how to do green screen video and it should work the same way. So let's get started. Uh, all you do to import your studios and the footage into um, Camtasia as you go file import media and then you're going to locate the folder that you downloaded from um, from Instahook Virtual Studio and then if you are a member of um, the Instahook video backgrounds then you'll have access to all these videos as well so I've already imported the ones I want to use and I'm going to show you how to edit videos that were shot horizontally and videos that were shot portrait mode. Um, so let's start with the portrait one. You want your uh, top footage to be the one of you talking, okay? That's going to be your top layer. So we're going to go down to the timeline here and we'll drop it down. I'm going to move it over and then I'm going to move it up to track 5, okay? If you don't see 5 tracks, just keep dragging it up and it'll create a new one for you in Camtasia. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add one of the Instahook Virtual Studios. So I'm going to choose this one right here. And these are um, JPEG images. Okay, So I wanted to make it super simple for you guys to work with it. And I don't want to use video because then you have to adjust the length and keep making new clips with images. All you do is drop it in, drag it over, and then you can make it as long as you need it to be okay. So that's really nice and easy for you guys. So I'm going to drag that. Um, I'm just going to do an example, but if you wanted to edit your actual video, you can use this, this little um, green and red box to cut out anything you want. So if you wanted to cut out this part of the clip, you would select that and click cut um, but we're using the whole thing so I'm just gonna drag that back so we've got that layer and then um, I'm gonna add these three videos to it once it's all keyed out so first thing we need to do is rotate um, my body to where it's not sideways on the footage and so you've got the center point which is the move one you can use that to move it around Okay, and then you've got this one, you'll see a little rotation dial show up. So you click that and just rotate it. And, and then you can go ahead and drag it to wherever you want it to be. And we actually accidentally rotated this bottom one, that's why we weren't seeing it. So we want to rotate that back that way. Um, I'm going to resize myself a little bit so you just drag these corners to resize it and then we're going to drag it right there should be good all right so now with this top layer selected uh, my body selected we're going to go to visual properties if you don't see this menu just click this more menu and it should be in there so click visual properties and we're going to go down to under visual effects remove a color so click that and this little dialog box will come up and then you click where it says color and you click select color and then I'm just gonna click right on the screen okay and you can see it keyed me out there uh, if you need to do any type of tweaking if you're still seeing some green you can use the defringe um, just go back and forth on it and do it to whatever suits your your video um, mine seems to look good kinda right around there is pretty good 
Uh, you can also do tolerance and you'll see that it'll adjust the video with tolerance. So just get it to where you want it by tweaking those. Uh, it's looking pretty good right there. I'm going to go ahead and move this top clip out of the way and lock it using this little lock dial here just so that I don't tweak anything accidentally on that one. And now we're going to key out the Virtual Studio. So I'm going to select the Virtual Studio and if you're not already on Visual Properties still, click that and then go to remove a color click color, select color, and then you're just going to drop it right on the green. And you can see that there's a little green spot right here. So what we're going to do there is select this tolerance tab and we're going to move it until we don't see that green anymore. So right around 50 seems to be good. We're then going to lock that one and now we're going to go to the clip bin and we're going to add these car clips in. So I'm just going to drag them down to track 3, 2, and 1. So there's 3, there's 2, there's 1, and I'm just going to hold the left mouse slide them over, left mouse slide them over, left mouse slide them over. And then starting with the top track, track 3, I'm going to select that one. That's going to be used in this big screen right here. I'm just going to drag this corner and drag it over right around there and just make it fit in this screen here, okay? So you just drag it right around there until it fits and then you can use this center button to move it around and this is behind this green screen so it'll be behind the TV which looks really realistic and professional so let's go ahead and lock that one we'll go to the next clip which is this one right here and we're gonna make that fit into that top TV so I'm just gonna drag it until the edges line up with the side of the screens and then drag it up right there. That looks good. And then the last one, let's go ahead and lock that track. Click on the last one, which is track one, and we're going to make that one fit in the bottom video. So just drag it to where those guidelines are. I like how Camtasia has the guidelines, that's really helpful. And then we're going to drag that up and make it fit right in that TV. So that's all keyed out now. If I click play, it's going to play the videos. Um, it might be a little slow right now because I've got, there we go, so that's going to be playing. I've got um, Screencast-O-Matic running to record this for you guys. So let's go back to the start here. And then all we're going to do is we're going to go to the top track. Um, let's get rid of this one that accidentally got put in there. I'm just going to click delete. We're going to go to the top track, which is the one of me, and we're just going to drag that over. And now you can see that I am on top of everything. Everything's all keyed out. If I play it, it might be a little slow right now, but once I rendered it, you can see that everything is working and it looks great. So. To export the video, all you're going to do is go to Produce and Share, and then you want to make sure it's um, the highest quality. So you want MP4, um, just MP4 only up to 1080p, and then you're going to click Next. Choose the file name that it's under, okay. Uh, and the folder you want to save it to and then click finish and it's going to render out for you. So that's how you use Camtasia Studio to edit the Instahook video backgrounds with your green screen footage. Thanks for watching.